Meanwhile, while that was happening, uh, the former Tory MP Charlie Elphick has been sentenced uh, to two years in jail for three counts of sexual assault against two women. Scarsnell Phillips is live for us outside Southwark Crown Court. Noel, uh, pretty scathing words from the judge. What did he have to say? Um, Justice, uh, Miss Justice Whipple told um, the MP, you are a sexual predator who used your success and responsibility as a cover. Now, today's sentencing will be of huge relief to his two victims whose uh, impact statements were read out in court. And those statements gave you a sense of just how traumatic their ordeals were. And it will, of course, be of huge relief to the prosecution who have stressed that Mr. Alpic used his, his position um, as an MP to really, you know, carry out these uh, really terrible crimes. Um, it's worth just remembering that for nine years, Charlie Elpick was seen as a rising star in the Conservative Party. He held two uh, posts, one as a parliamentary private secretary for David Liddington, the other um, as a parliamentary private secretary for Ian Duncan Smith. And he then went on to, um, to he was then promoted as a, a, as a junior whip. And his prime job was to keep MPs in order should they be misbehaving in Parliament. But but on the cover, he was himself misbehaving and carrying out these awful uh, crimes. And these um, crimes date back to 2007. He's, um, he's, his victim told the court and given evidence back in July when he was convicted of these crimes that he assaulted her at his London home. His wife had apparently left the home and he invited her over and carried out his assault. He pushed her on a sofa placed his knee between her leg and tried to kiss and grope her breast. He then chased her around the flat, shouting, I'm a naughty Tory. In 2016, while as an MP for Dover, he twice sexually assaulted a parliamentary worker who worked in his office. That woman was in her 20s. Uh, that victim told the court uh, back in July he had his mouth open, continually trying to kiss me. It was like a disgusting, slobbery mess. And in the second assault, several weeks later, he ran his hand up the inside of her thigh towards her groin. And these are the crimes that the judge highlighted in the court and, and spoke directly to Mr. Elpick, telling him that what he did was wrong and that it was only right for him to be sentenced to two years in prison. It was also uh, you know, made public in the court that his wife, um, who has succeeded him as an MP in Dover, Natalie Elpick, is supporting him. She is his only, she's, uh, she's the only person able to support him financially. It was reported in the court that his marriage is now ended. She attended the court with him back in July and soon after, I think within an hour after leaving the court after he was found guilty, she announced on Twitter that their 25-year marriage had come to an end. But it's worth pointing out that this man who was very powerful at one point, he was an MP who you know, had very, very senior positions within the government, the judge made the point that he abused, his behaviour was an abuse of power and it was only right for him to be uh, sentenced. His, uh, his defence were arguing for him to be given a suspended sentence, but the judge said it was only right for him uh, to spend the next two years in prison. Noel, thanks very much. This is Sky News today. Coming. Thank you. The former Conservative MP Charlie Elphick has been jailed for two years for three counts of sexual assault against two women. Sky's Noel Phillips is live for us outside Southwark Crown Court. Uh, Noel, what's happened there today? Well, the judge described Charlie Elphick as a sexual predator who used his success and respectability as a cover to carry out these sexual assaults. And he was on trial accused of groping one woman. Uh, this, uh, this incident happened back in 2007. And the victim said he pushed her onto a sofa, placed his knee between her leg and tried to kiss and grope her breast. He then chased her around a flat, which he shared at the time with his wife in central London, shouting the words, I'm a naughty Tory. Then, while still an MP for Dover in 2016, he twice sexually assaulted a parliamentary worker in her 20s. That victim also told a court back in uh, July that he had his mouth open, continually trying to kiss me. It was like a disgusting, slobbery mess. And a victim statement was read out uh, to the court detailing just how traumatic the experience has been for these two uh, women. And a judge did say in her summing up and when passing sentencing, 
that, you know, this, that Mr Elphick's uh, campaign of harassment uh, required planning for him to get these two women alone. A prominent MP and a former government whip, Mr Elphick, at, at one stage in his career, had the job of maintaining discipline among his colleagues, but privately he himself was falling short of party standards and committing crimes. And it's since emerged in the last hour or so that he will be uh, appealing his sentencing. He's released a statement through a spokesperson saying he feels as though he has had an unfair trial. And to also mention as well his wife who announced upon sentencing back in July that she would be divorcing him after 25 years of marriage has also said she will be supporting him in his appeal and that she feels that he did not have a fair trial. She did go on to say that she will be supporting his appeal. Now, Ms. Elphick um, left uh, Southwark Crown Court a short time ago and is now on his way to serve a two-year prison uh, sentence. He's been ordered, ordered to pay £35,000 towards the prosecution costs. Thanks very much indeed, Noel. The Russian opposition politician Alexei